if I had one wish right now, it would be to know how to edit things together and put together all these crazy tapes from tonight. But realistically, what I'm going to do is just delete them. Um, <laughs> I live with my brother and sister in Pennsylvania. I'm a sales rep for an international company in the U.S. division. Um, I sell tobacco, cigars, pipe tobacco, um, small cigars, which are machine-made, dry-cured. Um, I like to think of the industry that I'm in as, it's awesome. I mean, if you think about it, um, the government taxes us tremendously on tobacco. And what they're doing is putting a hole in their own pockets. Um, if you talk to any smart economist or mathematician uh, with an economy background, they'll tell you that the government, by taxing our tobacco, is actually losing money, which is totally stupid to me. I've seen the math. It doesn't make any sense at all. Um, I spent my first 10 years, uh, 12 years, sort of 12 years, I guess, um, at two shops in Philadelphia. Uh, one of 10 years, uh, I left last year. Um, I had a sort of midlife crisis, and um, I moved to Las Vegas. I left my son and his father here. Uh, I was hoping to excel in my career and become what I wanted to be. Um, when I got there to pursue not only my career but a, another relationship, um, two days into it, I ended up coming back home. But I came back home to my brother and sister's house back in my hometown. Um, I haven't lived here since I was 18. I was, I was only here a year then. Um, I lived here as a child, too, um, but I spent the rest of 15 years in Philadelphia, which has given me quite an interesting view on life. I mean, I've seen people shot and killed. I've, um, <laughs> my first experience driving was uh, my mom and I in this old Delta 88 coming back from Ladies' Night Pool, and uh, it's raining, pouring rain, and this huge black lady just jumps on the hood of the car, and I'm going, Mom, what do I do? What do, what do I do? She's going, stop the car, stop the car. Well, this guy hangs himself in the garage around the corner. Um, I've lost a lot of friends. So I've lost a colleague and co-worker a year and a half ago to uh, suicide. Um, I had a nervous breakdown then or went into shock, whatever. Um, my life hasn't been the same since. Um, so I'm still a great mother. I love my son. I see him quite often. Not as much as, obviously, I would like to. Um, but his dad and I still have a good relationship. And... Um, you know, that's complicated, obviously. Um, as far as tobacco, my tobacco experience goes, uh, you know, I've seen everything from thefts to, I mean, we had a shop down the street from one of my stores that uh, a van drove into and stole like $250,000 worth of merchandise, and I'm in there by myself for like an hour every day. Um, so now what I do is I travel, ter I have territory and I travel around and uh, try to pilfer my goods onto the people. Um, you know, I feel like such an awesome American for just being a chick who sells cigars and, um, my best friends include the chapel lady. Um, she was a, a pretty massive woman who had the stomach staple surgery and she has a lot of medical problems now. Um, we do ghost hunting together. Um, there's quite a few videos that, uh, you can find on, on YouTube under Fenster Maker Films. We've done, uh, investigations and my other best friend has currently worked working off some DUI stuff. She's a head bartender at a local microbrewery. Uh, she's quite the character. We do a lot of peeing outside. We have a lot of really interesting adventures. Yes, we pee outside. It's our thing. We do it. It's what happens in your residential neighborhoods. Um, so yeah, anyway. Well, um, after being chased by a raccoon, I'm so totally ready to go to bed. And, um, you know, if you're intrigued with my journeys, then let me know. And have a nice night.